Welcome everyone to this month's Astro Colorscope. My name's Elizabeth Harper. My website is sealedwithlove.com. So as usual, I will pick three stones, three crystals from my crystal bag for each zodiac sign. I'll throw them into a circle of houses and then I'll interpret the crystals, the colors and the houses and anything else that wants to come up for your particular sign. I'll also take a bead from my bead bag for an extra influence of color, just to throw that in as an influence for your month ahead. Then we'll select a card from the Voyager deck. And these cards are collages of uh, different images. So what I'll ask you to do is to take a look at that card and see which image most attracts you and then ask you to intuit what that image means for you so it's something a little bit more personal so before we get started remember to subscribe to my love letter grab your free color kit at bit.ly forward slash color kit and you can find out your true colors and of course you can find lots of jewelry and crystals in my stores store.sealwithlove.com this necklace is one of them and this bracelet that's actually a mala necklace is in there too these are the third eyes for their chakra chakra pieces so let me just share with you a little about what's going on in the heavens this month just a little bit there's a lot happening and I've written a, an article on my blog so you can check that out at astro color March 2015 so that's bit.ly astro color March 2015 so we have the end of a cycle this month, which is Uranus, Pluto square, Uranus in Aries and Pluto in Capricorn. And it's been, it's been, a, it's been years that this cycle has been going on. They've been connecting together and they've connected seven times together. So this is seven times the finish of it. So Uranus and Pluto are the planets of transformation and awakening. So I look at these from the color perspective. So I think of Uranus as turquoise and Pluto as violet and it's a square aspect. And you know, squares are, they can be at loggerheads. So it's almost like it's trying to put you in a box, but you don't wanna be in a box, not in this particular aspect. And squares to me can often be a, a red energy. So we have, Turquoise red and violet. Violet is that transformation, it's change. It's also bruising as well. So it says that you've been through a lot of change, a lot of, uh, a lot of um, things have, have manifest in your life and not all of them good. That's the bruising energy. So with Uranus, with the turquoise, that's communication, it's creativity. It's a new energy that comes between the heart and the throat. The heart is green, the throat is blue. Those two colors together make turquoise. So then it's opening something new up in your heart. So that transformation in the Pluto and the opening something new up in the Uranus with square and red, it's like, it's been a difficult time. So, but the red energy is awakening. It's the root chakra. So now, because it's the last time these aspects are coming together so closely, now it's time to shoot off into the atmosphere, into your life. Something wonderful is gonna happen. And it's happening on the 16th of March. It's not gonna be the same for everybody, but there's a sense of open, a new door opening up and it's time to walk through that new door. And you can let go of those bruises from your past. You can wake up with that Uranus energy and you can move into something much more spiritual, much more connected with your, your soul purpose with that Pluto energy energy as well. There's so much happening in the heavens this month, so that's why I chose to write a blog about it. So remember to go to my blog, check out that article at bit.ly forward slash March 2015. Okay, so let's get started on your star sign with your crystals. Okay, Cancer. So for you, you have Cinnabar. And Cinnabar went into your first house. It's a 
it's a kind of it's a little bit light pink and it has some dark pink red spots in this particular piece so cinnabar is a it's a merchant stone it it links to the the root chakra and the the third eye as you can imagine with this red energy it's linking you into the earth so there is a feeling with this going into your first house that you are being made to be here now you're being made to to see something you're being made to it's almost like uh be in your truth to to not avoid something anymore so if you've been lazy then this is saying you can't be lazy anymore. If you've been very untidy, then this is saying you can't be untidy anymore. There's almost a sense of you have to snap out of it. That's the sense I'm getting with this particular stone in your, in your first house. The good thing is that when you do snap out of it, this brings abundance and manifestation. Again, it's the merchant stone. So if you've been looking for more prosperity to come into your life on different in different ways you know it could be money and it it could be love it, it could be many other things then this is saying that once you snap out of maybe feeling sorry for yourself let's say then then that abundance can come into your life but I do feel that it's, it's very much about grounding and with the third eye, it's about having a vision uh, of what you want, but you have to be grounded in order to do that. So you can't go off into a fantasy land. You need to be here now with this particular energy uh, and not think about too much what is in your future. It's more about what is in the now, but still having a vision for your future, just don't be stuck in that future energy. So hopefully that makes sense. In your fifth house <coughs> went Botsana Agate. So the Botsana Agate, it has this pink and almost like a little, <coughs> little eye energy. It's funny, it's coming up with my throat with this. So that's interesting. The, the fifth house is a Leo house and the fifth house is about creativity. This is a stone of creativity. So you are enormously creative this month. This is a great time to, to put job proposals out, to link with new friends, to paint, to draw, to do art, to sing, you know, all kinds of stuff that is creative. And it's a very good stone for connecting with new friends as well. So you have in your in your 11th house, which is opposite the eight, uh, fifth house, you have this peacock ore, which is um, uh, calcipyrite. Uh, pyrite is, is known as fool's gold. And this has blue and violet on this particular piece. It's iridescent. So this has a communication energy that's coming in. And Chalcopyrite is known for the fire of truth. It's like the very fiery stones. So it's about being again in your truth. It's also saying to be in the now, that this is where your happiness is right now. There's nothing wrong, nothing wrong in your life. Just be in this, this time right now. This is where your joy is. This is where your happiness is. So then we link with this fifth house stone as well. Creativity may be where your happiness and joy is. I feel with this, because this is a turquoise energy and this has pink in it, that every kind of creative, every kind of creative modality is coming into your life. So you are becoming much more creative. And it, I do feel like there's relationship energy that's coming in this as well. This in your, in your 11th house is very social. So it's almost like you're going to be a bit of a social butterfly. And you're going to meet people of obviously like-minded souls, but you're going to meet very creative people as well. It's interesting with this because, you know, they don't look very similar, but the colors are very similar in this. These are a pink and kind of gray and white colors. And pink is the color of love. 
So there's a lot of love that's coming into your life over this next month. The gray is, I feel like there's emotions that are coming up. Gray can be like a gray day, like a cloud. And so tears are gonna be flowing. And it could be that tears were not flowing before. There is a sense with this particular stone of you know, in the past you felt rejected and now there's gonna be some kind of acceptance that's coming in. The bead that came up for you is this green bead and green is the color of the heart chakra. Pink is the color of the, the core of the heart. So for me, this is saying that a lot of emotion is coming up for you. Cleansing is gonna happen through that emotional energy. Abundance can happen for you as well. You're clearing stuff out the way so abundance can happen. There are new relationships that are coming in and maybe with people that in the past, the kind of people that have rejected you or that you've rejected them and now something is opening up where you are connecting to this new social group, this new crowd of people and there is a sense of you being accepted where maybe you weren't accepted before. And that's because you're accepting yourself. So let's see what the card is for you. So this is a balancing card. So it's usually justice in the in the regular tarot. And in here it's, it says it's called balance. So take a look at that card, see what you are most attracted to, then ask yourself, what does that mean? What does that mean? So when I look at this, I see the ballerina. I see the little ballerina with the, with the pink dress on there. And of course she's balancing. And I feel as if, you know, she's balancing on her toes. It's very difficult but it's practice for her. So there's a sense for you that practice makes perfect. So practice that balance. Practice being <clears throat> open to people. Practice being accepted by people and practice accepting yourself as well. Okay, that's it for this month's Astro Coloscope. Hope you've enjoyed it. Do please share it with your friends. Leave me a comment below if the messages resonated or if anything else came up for you. Remember to check my store for the goodies, store.sealwithlove.com. Also grab your free color kit at bit.ly forward slash color kit. And remember that I will be sharing more about the month's astrological influences on my website, on my blog, and that's at bit.ly forward slash Astro Color March 2015. Lots of colorishest blessings. See you next month. Bye.